Hey y'all. So we're just going to jump straight into it. I'm using, I love this cotton yarn in the color turquoise. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Love this color. Love it down. And I'm also going to be using, I love this cotton in the color aqua to do the strings and to create that color way that you see. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. Maybe not those sharp scissors. Child, I don't even know where I got them from. And a 3.5 millimeter hook as well as a 4.0 millimeter hook. Now this is actually optional. You can use the 3.5 the entire project. You also need your yarn needle as well as your measuring tape, hunty. We're gonna need that measuring tape. These are optional. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're like tie-dye beads that you could add on to your piece to add a little razzle dazzle. So we're gonna start off with our 3.5 millimeter hook and we're gonna create a slip knot to start. Then you're gonna insert your hook into that loop. Oops, try again. <laughs> and we're gonna chain up 12 stitches. And now we're going to place our first half double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, you'll place your first half double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook. Now we're going to put a half double crochet in each stitch down the row. So when you're finished, you'll have a total of nine half double crochets. Now that we have our nine half double crochets, now we're going to just insert another half double crochet in that same stitch, that last stitch, chain one, and then you're going to do another half double crochet in that same stitch. Once you have that, you'll put a half double crochet in each stitch down the other side, so down this row. Okay, so we're at the end of that other side and this is what it should look like. Now we're just going to go back and forth. So you'll chain two, turn your work, and you'll insert a half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the top. And then I'll tell you what we're gonna do once we get to the top of this row. All right, y'all, so we almost at the top. Just gotta insert that last half double crochet. Now at the very tippy top, we're gonna insert two half double crochets in that top stitch. Then we're going to chain one and insert two more half double crochets in that same stitch. And then you're just going to continue to half double crochet down the other side. And the next row is where I'll show you how to eliminate those gaps and loops in your cups. Now that we're done this second row, this is what it should look like. Now you're just going to chain two, turn your work in like the same pattern, do those half double crochets until we get to the tippy top. And then I'm gonna actually insert a clip of how to avoid and eliminate those gaps, hunty. So just a quick switcheroo. I'm showing y'all this in lighter yarn so you could actually see it. So once you get to the top, you're not gonna insert your hook in that loop. That's how you'll create those gaps in your cups. Instead, what you're gonna do is wrap your yarn around and insert your hook in that stitch directly underneath like so so here you'll do your first half double crochet then you'll do your second half double crochet chain one and then you'll have your second round which you'll do in that half double crochet stitch stitch directly underneath as well 
Okay, now this is what you'll do at the top of every row for the remainder of your cup to avoid those gaps. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Okay, now we're done with row three. You're going to do the same pattern for row four, and I'll meet you guys back at row five for a quick change in the pattern. Feel free to pause the video as you do row four. Now we're at the end of row four, making our way to row five. So you're going to chain two as regular, and then you're going to do your half double crochets as regular, and then we're going to do a different pattern at the tippy top this time so i'll meet y'all there hey y'all stay with me because it's about to get fun instead of doing four half double crochets at the top we're going to do two half double crochets so what you're going to do is yarn over and create that first half double crochet in that top stitch chain one and then you're going to create another half double crochet stitch in that same stitch and then you'll just continue as normal half double crochets down the entire side of row five and you'll do this for the remainder of the bralette cup there are no more changes the only thing we're going to do is add some of that aqua yarn in the mix so we can get that pop of color pop of light color in our cups so i'll meet y'all for when it's time to change colors I'm so excited I ended up doing two more rolls before I inserted my color change but feel free to do whatever you guys want depending on the size that you're doing so now what you're going to do is get your aqua yarn prepared for a color change now I'm not strict however you guys usually do a color change is perfectly fine but I'll show you my way as well so what I do is create a slip knot and then I'm going to just insert my hook into that color and pull that loop straight through and now what I'll do is half double crochet as normal but I grab both tails of my yarn I'll grab that aqua color just to tuck in that tail and weave it in as I go but I'm also grabbing the turquoise color so that when I switch back to turquoise it's easier and I won't have to reattach so I'm going to do a total of three half double crochets with the aqua color yarn and then I'm going to switch back to the turquoise yarn and I'll show y'all exactly how I do it okay so we have our three you could do four two however many you want same rules apply and then before changing back, we're just going to cut that aqua colored yarn and then take that, well, pull our ends. Yeah, pull the ends of the aqua color yarn. Pick back up that turquoise yarn and then chain up a loop. Pull those ends again. And then we're just going to half double crochet as normal. But what I did was I took one of the aqua aqua colored tails and I just weave that in as I crocheted up the row just so that it's easier when tucking in tails at the end of the project okay and then after that you'll just continue to half double crochet like normal and then I'll meet y'all at the end of this row to give you measurements on your cups this is what it looks like you see we put a little pop of color with the aqua yarn. This is so pretty. I love this. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see your creations. And now it's time to measure. So I'm doing a size small, which will be six inches. But if you're doing a extra small, it'll be anywhere between five and five and a half inches. A small is six inches. A medium will be seven inches. A large will be eight inches and uh, extra large will be 8.5 inches approximately. So right now we're at four and I'm getting to six. So what I'm going to do is crochet a few more rolls, add some more of that aqua color yarn in, and then I'll meet y'all back when I'm at six inches. All right, y'all, here is the final piece. I added some more aqua yarn to that last row. And now I'm just going to measure the bottom of my cup to make sure that we're meeting that six inch mark. And there we are. I'm right on six inches. So now what y'all are going to do and what I'm going to do is crochet one more cup 
doing the same thing with the aqua yarn or you could do your own flavor and i'll meet you at the next part okay voila we got our two cups or whatever it's looking good i just chose to do um four stitches of aqua yarn on the other cup and now we are going to start our bottom strip so to make it cute <laughs> i take both the aqua and turquoise yarn and create a slip knot now here is when you'll be able to choose between using your 3.5 millimeter hook or your 4.0 millimeter hook I chose the 3.5 and now I'm just going to chain up 200. Now this is completely optional. You can measure your back and then from there decide how long you'll want your straps to be hanging down once you tie it. But I did 200 y'all if y'all want to follow me <laughs> or you could do less. I've noticed that even if I did like 150 to like 175, it's not a huge difference and it does still give me that space to roam around. So now we completed our entire bottom strip and this is what it should look like. I'm all about the details, y'all. So do y'all see that? Like the front and then the back. It's so cute. All right, now let's get started on our strip. So as promised, the first method is the same as the straps. You're just going to take both colors, put them together, and then you're going to insert your hook into that top half double crochet stitch. Pull up a loop. And then you're going to insert your hook into the half double crochet stitch right next to it. Pull up another loop and create a slip stitch. Okay, just so that it has that extra, extra strength and them straps ain't going nowhere. And then you'll just chain up 200 or less than 200, however, however long or short you want your top straps to be. And that's the first method. Now let's get started on the second. So with this one, you're gonna take either your aqua yarn or your turquoise yarn, create a slip knot, and then like before, you're just going to insert your hook into the, into the half double crochet and pull that loop through. Then you're gonna insert your hook in the half double crochet next to it, pull that loop through, and then create whoops create a slip stitch and now you're going to chain 200 i recommend 200 for this just because with this method it is the slip stitch method going back down so it will kind of shrink in size about four and a half inches okay so once you get to 200 i will meet you at the top to show you what's next Okay, so what I did next was just took my turquoise color yarn, created a slip knot, inserted that loop into the top of the aqua yarn, chain one, and then what you're going to do is slip stitch, not in that particular stitch right there no we're going to slip stitch into that chain stitch so you're just going to insert your hook pull up that turquoise yarn and pull it through the bottom for your first slip stitch and those tassels at the end will actually be the tassels you know at the end of your strap so we'll fix them in a second don't worry about them all right and you'll just continue to slip stitch all the way down until you reach the top of the cup this second method does take a little longer, but it does add razzle dazzle to it. It has like an effect where you'll see the aqua color yarn on one side and then the turquoise yarn on the other. It's really cool, it's really cute. If you're interested in this method, go right on ahead. If you chose to do the other method, meet me at the top of the cups here and I'll show you what to do to end the strap so that they're just as secure. Okay, now we're at the end of, or I'll say the end of the strap, top of the bikini. Um, for video purposes, I just did less than 200 just so I could get to you guys sooner. But what you'll do is you'll, in that last final stitch, we're going to make sure we go all the way to the end, y'all. Create a slip stitch. And then what we're going to do is go into that very top half double crochet and create another slip stitch to ensure security. 
then we're just going to cut our yarn and pull that loop straight through like so and there we have it y'all okay and that is the same method for that's the same way to do it for the other method as well then what i did here is just pull that other tie back to the back of the bikini top so that it's easier to weave in at the end and then at the top where i told y'all it would just be like our strings our tassels hanging from i'll just pull that aqua yarn through the other side so that it ends up matching up with our turquoise yarn and that's a cool little trick so there we are y'all <laughs> then we're just going to do the same thing for the other cup first or second method and i'll meet y'all back here to do the bottom strap that goes underneath all right y'all almost there so now what you're going to do is take one of your cups make sure that your cup is facing forward make sure also that your strap is facing forward but if in between it does turn a little bit it doesn't matter it'll still look right now you're going to cho choose between turquoise or aqua i chose aqua because i just thought it would be a little cute for the bottom it'll show at the bottom and you're going to create a slip knot and then you're going to choose once again between your 3.5 and 4.0 hook i chose the 4.0 hook just because i wanted this part to be just a tad bit looser so that the straps could pull through but it can do that with 3.5 i don't know i'm just a little picky or i don't know <laughs> okay so now what you're going to do is insert your hook into the bottom of your bikini cup make sure that you're inserting at the very bottom y'all and that you're picking up more than one loop at least with the first the very first stitch if you pick up one loop going down the row it won't matter as much but just make sure that you're picking up both loops when you're starting out so now you're going to place your tassel over your crochet hook and then just make sure that that strap is facing frontward as much as you can. Now you're just going to pull that loop underneath the strap directly into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. And you're just going to do the same thing all the way down the bikini cup. Insert your hook, go behind that strap, pull up a loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. Now you're just going to cut your yarn and just create a chain stitch. Pull that loop through and pull it. And there you have it. Now you're going to do the exact same thing with the second cup. And then y'all, I will meet y'all back here for the beads to go on. Okay, y'all, and here's what it looks like once I put the other cup on and I weaved in some of my ends, some of my yarn tassels. So now we're just going to take our beads and finish up. And just like that, we done, y'all. Stay tuned for the matching mermaid cover-up. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Love, y'all.